Yo, it's your boy Forrest Green, back with another video, um, been requested by Splash that I must give my reactions um, towards this video, uh, Platonic Concepts, The Truth, featuring Fingerprint, um, The Truth of Plato's Form. Uh, this is, um, I don't know what the video is about yet, I haven't watched it, um, so I'm going to see how it goes, and I'm going to let it play, and then I'm going to stop um you know briefly um as time goes on to give my thoughts and search and my reactions and what goes down in the video so yeah let's begin folks can't wait to see what's going on all right uh what's up everybody it's your boy splash quite early in the morning and i got my boy fingerprint with me what's up bro all right so i gotta fix something in the community what happened was I picked up a philosophy book for a class I'm taking this semester. Read a little bit of it. One of the first sections covered is Plato, including Plato's forms. And after reading these things, talking about it with my boy Fingerprint and my homie Jacob, who also just joined the server, I came to discover that a platonic concept, by definition, is not outer versatile. What? Go back. You're not, you for real? By definition, it is not outer versal. Why is it not outer versal? Uh, wait, so all these, well, so this is basically misinformation then. With the whole platonic concept thing because we all thought that if you you know if you're a platonic concept you are out of versal because you are the original thing the original idea and you're not you know because the way i saw out of versal you know the, basically the basic understanding of out of versal was that you know you're not bound by concepts you're not bound by space time dimensions um you know replicas basically um you know, you're beyond those concepts, you're beyond the concept of death, you're not bound, you're boundless, basically. So, so does that mean a lot of characters who, st who are stated to be concepts, platonic concepts, so they're not outerversal? So, does that make them hyperversal? And is, you know, the whole, you know, is, is out, out, being out of, is outerversal even a real thing now? I'm starting to question a few things because you know we all thought a lot of people thought dark side was out of versal again with the batman statement um and so on and so forth um so is that not the case anymore now anyway let's continue inherently so um do you want to start talking about it first and i'll just hop in with you about what makes a platonic concept not out of versal based on the form? Uh, yeah, bro, if you don't mind, I can start. Yeah, um, go ahead. Essentially, to give a, like a small stance on platonic concepts, essentially, Plato did um, always have this theory that there could be something false and true, and the true being absolute. So, an example uh, is just a random analogy. Plato will happen to see Earth as the false platonic the universe itself as the absolute. Uh, essentially, he does want to say that someone does eventually have a truthful form and need in the end. And uh, from what I noticed with the fictional debating thing, they do right off the bat try to claim that true platonic concepts does automatically end and the result of something being um, autoversal. I think that's the term they use now. Or 1A, dimensionless. Um, things to try to clarify that something is um, above dimensional needs. So. Yeah, and um, I was one of these people that put kind of concepts were out of versal. However, I was coming from a standpoint of like I read an outline of it and I didn't get deep into it. Plus, I didn't know in outer versal, there's a specific claim in the definition that says they are formless. The issue is the boy Plato literally said, this is a form. It is the permanent true form of whatever we are witnessing in real life. Now, 
the thing with the platonic concept um, is the labeling itself is not out of verse. So uh, I think fingerprint agrees. Some of the feats and stuff, a lot of the feats, they can still be out of verse. But using the labeling of a platonic concept does not make it out of verse. Oh, wow. So, oh. This is this is actually a lot to take in. Wow, this this is going to actually shape the versus community a lot. This is wow, this is a This is going to start warfare. Because there's a lot of people that have got on board with the whole idea of being a platonic concept, you know, you know being beyond concepts and such, you know, would make you out of Ursul. Um, and again, as Splash says, a lot of these feats, now that, you know, anything that claims to be a platonic concept, it's, you know, it's not out of Ursul now. This is crazy. This is really crazy. Now, i got to re- i got to re- uh, revise my information. i got to amend some stuff. Because, wow, so there's going to be a lot of changes with certain characters. Um, you know, a lot of characters who we viewed as out, you know, as out of Versal. Some of them, you know, aren't out of Versal anymore now. Wow. So, uh, another thing, too, is that it is a platonic concept that's supposed to be the true form of something beyond our human comprehension and what that would likely entail. And, you know, a lot of people are going to come from my head on this, whatever, go fucking read a philosophy book too. I had to do it. So the, um, he, like string says humans could possibly understand that there are like 10 dimensions in reality, which would mean a platonic concept is likely inherently 11th dimensional because that'd be you know that transcend the human comprehension wait so that would be like like multiversal or like complex multiversal what so so like a platonic concept is like multiversal this is crazy Uh, let's continue which would mean by like versus battle standards and power scaling standards a platonic concept would be like complex multiverse wow so dark side is multi is complex multiversal well true form dark side I should say Oh my god, there is a lot of damage. A lot of misinformation now. Oh dear, oh dear. There's a lot of information that needs to get changed. Um, oh my god, man. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, there was arguments already, because I got some of my mates like Corin O'Keefe. Uh, Frisk and some others were saying like you know like that feat with Dark's true form falling from the sky or something I can't remember what the feat was um, but it was like a multiversal like feat so now Dark side is what multiver multiversal like complex multiversal I mean you could argue higher you could argue hyperversal but bloody hell so that's that's such a downgrade so, so that's the case now. Oh my God, this is this is a lot to take in. Um, now, figure idea about why people may have misconstrued this. Um, in all in all honesty, I'm not really sure where the hell it came out. I just randomly <laughs> pulled it out their fucking ass, bro. 
fucking farted out platonic concepts and put this shit at like 1A. <laughs> In all honesty. <laughs> yeah, um, but. <laughs> I do Plato notice... wasn't in the. Wasn't him. Yeah, bro. I feel bl- <laughs> I feel so bad because Plato's rolling around in his grave with just his fucking theories being misconstrued as a whole. <laughs> um, one thing I do notice that is a uh, just very, very fallacious in a way. So any th- so people who so is so there's been a lot of misinformation now. So people have been basically seeing any, you know, platonic concept feats. And then just smacking characters up to outer versal automatically. Is that the case now? Um, because, wow, we've. People who have been saying platonic concepts, uh, including me, hands up. <laughs> we've been basically highballing the, the crap out of these, these characters when they're actually quite weaker than that. Unless, obviously, there's other forms and explanations to prove that they are out of versal without you know a platonic concept statement that's crazy so that so, so that would only be like like yeah like high multiversal um i, I don't remember the concept um essentially batman did come up with the platonic bullet yeah. which was imbued by time to kill a new god one thing i did notice from the new gods in the comics was uh that they are like now if we give a priority to that argument itself with it being argue type meaning that it's a sample of the source meaning that it's not a original form of the source at all and if we're going off a of theory of forms and platonic realism essentially that would just kind of debunk the argument as a whole making it an oxymoron essentially um the fact that the contradiction holds that the platonic bullet holds time itself and the new gods will be an archetype of platonic concept Okay. So. Okay, so the Batman feat with the bullet killing a new guard. So these new guards, obviously the source. Um, so they're all still they're still bound. They're still bound by time. Like the bullet and such. Wow, there's a lot of contradictions um, with the whole outerversal thing. Oh my god. A lot of contradictions now. So. Wow. Being that they're falsified, meaning that that doesn't directly put them out one day. Um, that's what I mainly know from is DC arguments. I haven't heard it in any other sort of criteria whatsoever. Yeah, the platonic concepts, uh, particularly in the DC scaling community, in terms of, I mean, like, I'll be the first to admit, dude, I, like I said, I just read the platonic concepts in terms of versus battle community, and I was like, okay, probably is out of verse, and I would argue it with people. Sadly, people like uh, your boy Neo weren't able to debunk me, so I was able to run around with this. But uh, unlike a lot of versus battle channels and content creators, if I discover something new, and it makes what I previously said wrong, I'll correct it. So to keep it simple for those looking to fight the tyranny of versus battle, power scalers putting platonic concepts at outer versal, D, and this is gonna be in the video, it specifically states in Alex, but a platonic concept from Plato himself I swear to God, if someone says appeal to authority, I'm going to kick him in the balls. But he literally says they are the permanent <laughs> form. So that is the easy debunk way to go about it. Okay. Yeah, because I remember in that debate, so... So Neo was right then. So Neo was right about Dark Side not being out of Versal. But... I do agree that, to be honest with you, Neo, st- Neo really couldn't debunk the argument. That was that was the issue in that debate. He couldn't prove, like, prove that um, Dark Side was, you know, not out of Ursel. So again, Splash, you know, running around with that information. Um, 
But I'm glad that, you know, this information has been put towards us. I'm glad that uh, the correction, the correction has been made. So now, you know, we can look at things from a more clearer uh, perspective. Um, there's definitely been some truth in this situation. And of course, like Splash said, you know, if there's something wrong, if the information is inaccurate and incorrect, it will be changed. Um, and that's, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, he, he went the right way about it. And of course, of course, with the assistance of fingerprint, um, I do see a lot. This isn't just with Splash. It's happened to me. It's happened to Corin O'Keefe. It's happened to other people. I've had people try to use my old arguments against me. And the thing is, you know, the versus debating, the versus meta, even they've done it to Seth and Chuck. The versus meta it is it's ever evolving. There is always going to be, be new information. Um, information is always amended and changed over time. So I don't really like the whole idea of people trying to pick at straws and look back at old information and be like, uh, uh, well, Forrest, you said that this character was only was only building level. And you and you just you just like bro that was like six months ago like you know information you know, I got that information wrong and that's why in my newer videos you know there's characters i.e you know like you know planetary you can nuke planets he's not no building level uh <laughs> building level uh fodder character you can blow up, blow up planets you know there's more information I've amended my information over time. But yeah, that's, that's just one of the examples. And I'm just glad that Splash has made this video because now it's given me a lot of time to amend uh, my information and look at, look, you know, look at Outerversal from a different light. Um, and of course, the whole platonic concepts and such. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue, and continue to watch. Also, another thing, um, Corin was right about, you know, the whole multiversal thing. Um, you know, because... Um, with because he because a lot of people said that the whole true form dark side feat was you know complex you know like you know not I think it was complex multiversal he said I can't remember but he said it was multiversal plus or something um, but yeah now that we have the correct information it's more it's more concrete now so um, you know the outerversal thing has been pretty much changed now so I'm glad that everything has been you know amended anyway let's continue and watch the rest of the video not that difficult to explain so sorry to the versus battle community for uh, perpetuating this issue for a little bit but like i said i do need to clarify a lot of feats can still be out reversal it's just labeling them platonic concept okay and don't worry about it, splash trust me we all are human at the end of the day i make mistakes we all make mistakes, um, like how I made like my power scaling video, um, my first ever power scaling video when I did a power scaling video on one of my favorite characters, my avatar, uh, her name's Volk. Uh, I, ha I had a label that large building level, and that was complete downplay when she's actually a lot stronger. She's small town level plus. Um, she's not. She she can't just destroy large buildings. She can destroy a, large, a small town if she really wanted to. Um, again, this information changes over time. We find, you know, more accurate, concrete information. And then we have to, of course, um, take accountability for our misinformation and change it and amend it to the correct information. So, again, there's no fault. Well, there is fault, but obviously, again, uh, Splash has taken accountability and that's fine. You know, we all we all make mistakes doesn't make them that it honestly makes them like 11 D in truth so uh anyway if you want to come argue with me about platonic concepts and where they stand in scaling based on the philosophy itself you may join my discord come talk to me about it. if you have any questions about it you can come talk to me about it if you want to come debate the philosophy aspect of Oh, I have some questions, definitely. I'll be hitting you up soon, Splash, after I finish this video. Bloody hell, there's a lot to take in. With fingerprint, by all means. He, he's a lot better at philosophy uh, than I am currently, so he'll definitely whip your ass on that one. You want to come argue with Jacob about it? 
he's a he's a pit bull, so you can come face him too. But oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want that smoke. <laughs> think Ben Shapiro, but uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you, fingerprint, for uh, joining in on this little uh, correction of mine. And uh, you'll be seeing fingerprint probably soon on either a regular video or a Splash Debate Wars, which will yeah, be fun. Uh, I plan to do a lot more content with you, bro. And thank you for having me, by the way. I appreciate that. Yeah. Anyways, it's been your boy, Sir Splash. And we'll see y'all later. Peace. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, this is big news. I feel a lot, I feel a lot lightheaded knowing all this information. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, my God. There's a lot to go over. I'm going to have a chat with a few of my friends about this. Uh, wow. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll probably check the comment section in a second. Uh, but, yes, folks, thank you all for watching. This is my reaction, my reaction to uh, Splash's video on the truth the real truth of platonic concepts and how they aren't out of versal. Wow. Crazy. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Please make sure you check out Splash's channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like and comment down below. Uh, does Fingerprint have a channel? Um, I don't know if he does, but if he does, he does. Make sure you sub subscribe to Fingerprint, of course, if he does have a uh, channel. Um, subscribe to my channel, of course, Forest Green. Um, I do content on there, of course. Power Scaler, and make sure, uh, make sure you help your boy out. Make sure you help Splash out. Click these ads. Click them. Get. Make sure he gets that ad revenue. Um, BS folks. Forest Green signing out. Peace.